baseball players across the country, they all wore the number 42 for Jackie Robinson Day. Meanwhile, right here in Birmingham, a city with a rich baseball history of its own, celebrated at the Barons game this evening. But it started at the Negro Southern League Museum. That's where CBS 42 News reporter Stefan Dingle is live tonight with more on the significance of celebrating number 42. Stefan? Yeah, Jim, well, the significance of celebrating the great Jackie Robinson is pretty clear. He broke the color barrier for Major League Baseball, paving a way for so many other Major League players of color to play the sport. Now, as we celebrate diversity in 2016, some say there's still a long way to go. Jackie Robinson Day 2016 was festive and exciting, almost like a party to celebrate diversity in baseball. The Miles College Marching Purple Machine got everyone into the groove as visitors explored baseball history at the Negro Southern League Museum. I get a lot of emotion because we were playing for them. We were opening, trying to open doors for them. And when I see those kids and the excitement on their face when we sign autograph, give them a baseball card, oh man, that's emotional. But with all the progress in baseball, this local youth coach thinks that more needs to be done to expose kids in inner cities like Birmingham to the sport. The industry is in need of minority participation on different levels, and I'm not just talking about on the players' level. I'm talking about from the coach's box all the way up to the sky box, all the way to the ownership. And even the Barons organization acknowledges that need. As Birmingham being a developing city with Breeders Field being the, uh, the heart of uh, this development in the area, we, we look forward to whatever growth can can occur. We look forward to being uh, spearheading that movement and helping develop baseball within this city and many other major cities as well. Now, Major League Baseball has something called the RBI program. That stands for reviving baseball in the inner cities. Both the Barons and that local youth coach said they're going to work to get that program here in the Magic City. We're live in Birmingham tonight. Stefan Diggle, CBS 42 News.